in someone else's wife or something. Yeah, it is very much. I think, I don't know, I don't know why we do that as women. It's so, yeah, so yeah. dumb. We'll do it all. The diet seems to play on Louise's insecurities. Everything. But she's not alone. 90% of all teenage girls are worried about their weight. So Louise decides to return to her and Sophie's old stage school, Italia Conti, to warn the pupils against the horrors of crash dieting. Twenty years ago when I started, there wasn't a huge amount of emphasis on our weight. We were all aware because we were all dancers and we were wearing leotards and tights every day, so we were all aware to be careful, but it was never really a big issue or wasn't really spoke about. So it'd be really interesting to see if it's different twenty years on. Constantly like everywhere say like the size zero, being small is like the fashion, if you know what I mean. So if you're not like generally that small, that's sort of when you start to think, oh, Makes you well, I don't want to be the odd one out. Mm -hmm. Do any of you know anybody that's had an eating disorder? Yeah. 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 So it's <laughs> mad, you all know somebody, there's not many of you in here, but you all know somebody, so it just shows. My friend from another performing arts school, she was in the girl, they were all in a group of girls in the toilets, and she was teaching another group how to throw up their food, and I just think, I thought to myself that it's just so sad that they feel they have to do that. Yeah. But it's like teaching it as if it's something great. Before I did this diet, I would have looked at anybody that I was kind of wanting to look like in a magazine and thought, oh, you know, I want to look like that in a bikini. I want to come across like that. But it is not glamorous. Um, I've been grumpy. My husband is just, I think he's ready to pack my bags. <laughs> And, um, and also, he's just in, in the way of family life, he's had to really take on our little boy and do a lot with him because I've not had the energy. It becomes much more than food and weight and becomes a, a much more empowering game and I think that is when it becomes really, really dangerous. So it's always just keeping your feet on the ground. It is not glamorous. To get and achieve that, there's so many more important things in life. It's just scary. It's the final week of the diet, and despite being completely exhausted, Louise still has to work. She's presenting the Close Show Live at Birmingham, and before it starts, the crew enjoy a hearty lunch. Yeah, I'm pissed off really now, to be really honest. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm hungry. You know what, I don't want to go over there and have heaps of chips and heaps of sandwiches, but just to have a couple on the side, something with a bit of flavour. I always don't want to sit with anybody because I feel like I want to kill them. <laughs> but um, I'm hungry today. I've got a bad headache and just can't wait for today to be over. And to make things worse, Louise has lost her personal mobile. <laughs> <laughs> my phone is in the fridge. Oh my god, you know what? I was last night, I must have spent an hour looking for it. I was so shattered. Um, and when I got home, I was so hungry last night. The first thing I did was went to the fridge because I felt, um, you know, when you're shaking, your hands are shaking. I was so hungry. Um, I went straight to the fridge and I must have just put my phone in there. <laughs> like an absolute nutcase. All right, bye. <laughs> Can't put my phone in. <laughs> I was, I was really hungry last night. It's starting to um, really yeah. take its toll now. I've had enough. I don't know, it's just it's starting to run my life a little bit. Because I feel guilty even if I eat the smallest thing now, even if it's something that I've been told I'm allowed to eat. And then I'm beginning to think in a different way about food. I can definitely understand how people get out of control when they're dieting and how people can go to the next level because you hit a target and then you give yourself another target and then another target but I've got no energy at all I feel really tired today what I would give to put my coat on now and just go home I'm Louise Redknapp and this is The Clove Show <laughs> Ever professional, Louise puts on a bright face when on camera, but she's finding it difficult to concentrate, and it's much harder than usual to learn her lines. Fashion extravaganza. Here on this special show. Why did you do two picks? 
Well, I'll give it a shot, but I don't know it. Number one, on this special show from the Clove Show. Oh, Lord have mercy on my soul. I hope you've enjoyed your time here with us at Clove Show Live. See ya. Bye. See you, everyone. The shoes, they're off. <laughs> The next day, Louise starts to get serious stomach cramps and should be taking it easy. Instead, a fat-burning suit has arrived for her to try. I've done some strange things, but this is possibly the strangest. Celebrity mates Robbie Williams and Cheryl Tweedy both claim it can dramatically reduce your waist measurement, but Louise proves too ill to find out. I feel like I need to go to bed, like I feel like I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I just keep throwing up all the time and now I'm at that stage where you know when you're sick and you've got no food to actually be sick that it just hurts your stomach so um, I just feel absolutely awful. Feeling fragile, Louise takes a break and attempts to get her strength back. She's still got to shift a few stubborn pounds if she's ever going to get into the size zero dress. She can't battle on alone any longer. Three days later, she resolves to finish the diet, so she heads back to Barry and LA for the final push. So I've come back to LA, um, just it was getting very hard back in the UK. The diet was driving me absolutely crazy. So it's nice to be somewhere a bit different where it's all a little bit easier to be on a diet, believe it or not. Um, and the, ultimately, it's to get into this dress, which I need to do, which she just looks tiny today. I'm just having a, a fear day of it's not going to happen ever. In the desperate hope there's a shortcut to fitting in the dress, Louise is now willing to try everything LA has to offer. And the circulation starts getting From a plain now. old deep tissue massage. Yeah. I should have come here last time. <laughs> We've not done the diet. <laughs> to a futuristic mud shrinkage treatment called an alpha pod. What will be next in my quest for thinness? <laughs> She even tries having those final centimetres vacuumed up with the celeb's favourite endomology. This is so the final push. If I don't fit in the dress after this, then tough. And finally, she gives the ancient art of acupuncture a try. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was very interesting. Louise finishes off a hard day with dinner, LA style. I ordered a, a salad to go. Actually, uh, weighs more than me now. <laughs> and this is just explains to you, LA, because look, this was my salad to go. That's the kind of salad I'd have at a buffet. <laughs> Maybe when they saw me, they thought she needs a good salad. I'm not quite sure. The next day, it's back to the old favourite of pain and torment, otherwise known as Barry's Boot Camp. Welcome back. You look great. <laughs> I don't feel great. You don't feel great. No, I'm hungry. Oh, no. <laughs> You're hungry? <laughs> I'm really serious. I know, you are. We'll go have a sandwich. Yeah. We'll go have a Subway sandwich. I'll go for a sandwich and have the chips. <laughs> the chips, I want the extra bread at oh, the, the table. Oh, the veggie bag and the chips. Just the bring whole it thing. All. Get changed, let's okay. get started. You're here, I'm here. Do this. Okay. <laughs> Keep the abs in. Over the last 30 days, Louise has worked out for a total of 52 hours. It's 